Pokemon Go Street Harassment. I refuse to apologize to misogynist nerds. So that's how you want to play it, huh? How's it going everyone, Sudi TV here. Today we're going to be looking over Robin Vinter's follow-up article in response to all the hate that she's gotten over her Pokemon Go article that was published on iNews. Now if you guys don't know who Robin Vinter is or what I'm talking about at all, then I actually talked about her in my last video. So this is more like a sequel to the last video I made. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. So without any further ado, let's get right into this misogyny. What I thought had been a fairly innocuous column about the street harassment I'd experienced while playing the mobile game led me to be inundated with hundreds of abusive tweets and messages over the space of more than a week, including death and rape threats. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Where in your story did you get harassed. If asking someone for their phone number is harassment, then I've been harassed by my partner in journalism class. It's a good thing I didn't pick you to be my partner. I would have wanted someone who was actually good at journalism. I don't feel there's any need to go into too much detail about the messages themselves as it's the same story every time a woman is attacked online. It is the same story, isn't it? You pretend that men have it all fine and dandy when they're on the internet. Meanwhile, women have to deal with the patriarchy and the societal norm of misogyny. What if I told you that not everyone on the internet is going to be nice to you? You know, it's sort of like real life. Much of the early, and worse, abuse seemed to come from various misogynist corners of the internet. Some of the messages urged me to hang myself, while others hoped I'd be raped to death for my crime of unapologetically rejecting nice men and having the audacity to write about it. Okay, so I know that this video is meant to like criticize you and all, but I do sincerely apologize that you had to go through that. But as awful as that is, these are not misogynistic corners of the internet. Most of them are just trolls and they would say the same thing to a man. Let me show you. Here's a video from SoFlo's Facebook page, and what a nice, respectful top comment that is. This right here is Tommy NC 2010, an autistic man who received so many death threats that he cried. And here's a YouTuber with over 200,000 subscribers who says he wants to step on babies and kill them. And when I say babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking pavement. So again, I'm sorry you went through what you went through, but if you think it only happens to women, you are horribly mistaken. I don't for one minute think the eyes readers are responsible for the nasty abuse. Huh, then who was responsible for posting it on the internet? In fact, the day the article appeared in the paper, I heard nothing on Twitter at all, until late in the evening when a handful of angry men alerted me to a photo of the article on image sharing site Imager. Allow me to explain or mansplain, whatever vocabulary you prefer, why that might be. The Eye is a print newspaper, something that has been declining in the journalism industry. So compare the audience of that to something like Imager, significantly larger audience and statistically speaking, you are more likely to run into more people who will give you a hard time. Higher population means higher number of bad guys. It's just the way it works. Hence why you find more crime in major cities than affluent bedroom suburbs. I'm sorry to hear about the bullying that some of those who tweeted me said they'd suffered at school. Clearly some people are still carrying a lot of hurt from many painful memories, and I understand that it probably feels good to pass that on to other people. Firmly grasp it in your hand. <laughs> so not only are you not actually sorry, you also blame everyone else for using you to exhaust their pent-up anger instead of accepting the fact that you, yourself, are the bully. Do you really still think that you're getting hate just because misogyny? But being picked on, however traumatic that is, doesn't automatically make you an oppressed minority, particularly in a society dominated by straight white guy nerd culture. Hey moron! Fucking moron! We are never going to realize equality and coexistence if you continue to perpetuate the idea that it's okay to bully people who just so happen to be straight white males. Stop with the Tumblr mentality and get real. Take this from a guy who isn't even white. This is also a time when figures show hate crimes on our streets are rising, when gay Latinos became the target of one of the biggest shootings in US history, when people are forced to demonstrate in the streets to show that Black Lives Matter, when Black Lives Matter protesters try to stop a baby from getting to the hospital, 
when violent attacks on those who are perceived as non-British are becoming the norm, when the bodies of drowned refugee children wash up on beaches, when an actress is driven from social media by racist abuse. If you're looking for an oppressed minority group to defend, there are plenty of real options who need more voices right now. So I shouldn't be upset that you're bullying people with social issues because there are worse things happening in the world right now. Well, two can play at this game. I'm not going to feel bad for you for getting empty death threats because President Obama needs to deal with actual threats of assassination. My advice to you, Robin, is to learn the difference between equality and protected classes. Hate cannot be fought with hate. In conclusion, I think I've said all I've wanted to say about this topic, so if you guys got a kick out of this rant, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave in the comments below what you think about this whole situation, whether she's in the right or I'm in the right, or if you want to criticize something that I said, go ahead, I take all kinds of feedback as long as you keep it constructive. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.